her the 21 foot rule? What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in the training, even though it's dry fire practice. What I want to show you guys is you don't know what you're gonna have to how you're gonna have to take that shot. There's guys that have taken six or eight bullets and still proceeded to attack. If they're on drugs, they may not feel pain. Okay, so you don't know how many shots it's gonna take to take somebody. You can't, you can't, oh, I put a, a shot him once or twice, he's gonna fall down. You don't know. If he has momentum and I shoot him, his momentum could actually carry me into me. And, oh, you give him a knife, right? Just give him a knife in your hand. That's good. His momentum might even carry, I might have a gun and it could carry right into me, and I still got a, now you're in the hand to hand, even though you have a gun in your hand. You could have a misfire. That happens. Or, what's real, like people that put the safeties on, they don't do the training, drawing, taking that safety off. Uh, uh, right? And he's, he's right here. That could happen. That happens a lot. They don't keep a bullet in the chamber. I recommend <clears throat> bullet in the chamber. If you're comfortable enough, no safety. This is my safety right here. When I grab it, the finger goes right here. What we're going to do, I'm not going to do a full 21 foot roll, but it's, it's the same kind. If he's charging at you, you can still get offline. Just to show you some of the different things you can do uh, as far as fighting, uh, I want to get you guys to think outside the box and how you operate a gun, okay? Can I shoot like this? Right? Will yeah. that work? Yes. Right. If I pull the trigger, the bolt's coming out. It may not be very accurate, but it will still work. <coughs> right? I can shoot like this. Right? So there's all different kind of capabilities we can do when we shoot. Uh, just to show you some angles. Uh, a little more flatter, but yes, fine. So get you put your knife in your hand. Okay, so you can you, uh, just do some kind of yell or whatever. Just gonna charge at me. Go ahead. You ready, buddy? You never turn me! Right? So, there'll be different planes of motion you might have to operate on. Let's do it again. <coughs> Now, say I'm like this, I'm walking down the street, okay? I heard maybe some terrorist kind of stuff, I hear him yelling. That is. Okay, you see what I did? I got behind. I pulled the gun. He's right here. Remember I said you can shoot that way. Again, so you don't know. You have to get outside <laughs> of this mindset of I'm at the range, hitting a fixed target one way in the weaver stance. Weaver stance is for cops, guys. You got somebody on the ground, you give them verbal commands, you can you can be comfortable and do this stuff. Civilian gunfighting, you'll never get there. Never. So when we do stuff later, I'm gonna show you how how, how hard it is. Um, we're not gonna drill this one. Basically, it's just, you can do this at home. Just take the same arc pattern, he comes in. I'm going like, like that. He has, he has a knife. 